Following on from the eventful season finale, where we saw all of the story arcs for the main characters resolve in some form, all we have to do now is wait for season 3. With a third season being confirmed by the creator of the show, Mike White, it not only shows the popularity of the new anthology series, but it also highlights the yearning to want to see more. With some stories from season 2 potentially looking as though they could be delved into more in season 3, I'm going to take a look at all that's out there, along with giving my theories and predictions to what I think could potentially happen next. So let's get into it. Here is the White Lotus Season 3 Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Story In terms of the story, because the show is an anthology series, it can quite literally do anything that it wants to. It doesn't rely on the previous season for another one to function. As long as there's a distinguishing factor that makes it part of the show, then it's okay for it to be deemed as the same universe. And for this one, it's the fact that it all takes place at the White Lotus Resort spread all over the world. Tanya was the only main character to return from the first season of the show, along with Greg. And now with her gone, it isn't looking like they're going to be able to reprise her role. I've got a couple of different theories as to what could occur in season 3. We could have a season that follows on directly after the events that occurred during the second season of the show, more specifically, leaning in on the main focal point which was Tanya dying, which then meant that Greg was set to inherit her half a billion dollars due to the clause that was within their prenup, entitling him to it all if she were to die whilst they were married. Obviously, we know that he was behind it all, but the authorities may not see any involvement on his part behind what occurred. This could mean that we could see him be free and become one of the main characters in the new season, as he could be in a White Lotus resort on the other side of the world enjoying the money that he wrongly acquired. This could also open up the possibility of returning characters such as Portia maybe. But if she did, I don't think that it would be intertwined with this story. She doesn't strike me as somebody who would look to seek revenge, nor did it even seem like she was that bothered that Tanya was dead in the finale. So I think if she returned, it would be in her own right with her own story. If they were to bring back some other characters, if Greg wasn't to be featured, I think two other characters that would be good to see more of would be Daphne and Cameron. There was so much going on within their marriage that we only really got to see the surface level of it, as it was intertwined with Harper and Ethan. The lying, deceitfulness, cheating, yet contrasted with a strong amount of love and care was particularly interesting. In their final shot, they were sitting in front of an image of a volcano, which I felt meant that their marriage could erupt at any moment in the future. Cameron clearly doesn't like the fact that he's not the kid's biological father, but he has a life where he has to deal with it, because the price that that came at was him going off and doing as he pleased. I'd definitely be interested in seeing them reappear on screen again, but maybe at a more turbulent time in their life where one is less comfortable with what's going on. The final batch of characters that would be good to see on screen again in their own right would be Albie and Portia. They went on a very similar journey to each other, all to end up at the same destination. Episode 2 of the show described the direction in which their season would go in, and it played out exactly as they expected. Albie with his wounded birth Lucia and Portia's yearning for excitement in her life. But with them both exchanging numbers in the closing moments and them being one of the final scenes, it does make me wonder if we could see them meet up at a White Lotus resort in the future, after spending some time talking to each other when they get back home. The shot of Albie mirroring his father and his grandfather's behaviour of turning around showed that despite how different they all are, and no matter how hard they try to be different from each other, deep down they're all the same. So Albie definitely has more inside of him that we're yet to see. Plus, Hayley Lou Richardson did a phenomenal job in Season 2 and created a character that I'd love to see more of. In terms of the location of the next resort, we've had Hawaii in Season 1 and we've now had Sicily. The creators of the show have said in the past that they're looking to potentially go to a different continent and potentially go further east on the globe. So we could see the show go in a different direction geographically, which I think would most certainly be interesting. The first season was focused on money, the second season was focused more on what being intimate with somebody could bring, so season 3 could potentially focus on power and status. That's what I think anyway. Either way, I think there's plenty of opportunity to explore a recurring character, potentially pick up the story of what Greg did with the money, but also the possibility of starting fresh, which I think it has the opportunity to do. If a set of characters does return from season 2, I think it should only be one set. 
I would also hope that there would be some strong symbolism or intertwinedness with what is appropriate within the country that they visit. For example, we had the Testa di Moro in this season, accompanied by artwork that provided haunting subtleties to what we eventually saw unfold on our screen. It added another layer to the show and was engaging in the sense that we were constantly guessing what it meant, so I hope that's the case too. The release date. In terms of a release date, that's something that's currently unknown at the moment. The good thing to note is that we're definitely getting a season 3 of the show as it's been given the green light, but they haven't actually started working on it yet. When we look back at the previous release dates that the show has had, in season 1 it was released in July 2021, and season 2 was released in October of 2022. So there was no real schedule or structure when making it a year like what we usually see shows adopt. With that in mind, if we predict that it's going to take a similar amount of time, that means that we may see the show get released sometime in early 2024. However, with the increase in popularity that the show has had throughout Season 2, this could well mean that they may aim to release it sometime in 2023. Airing just after House of the Dragon probably helped the show to a certain degree, due to the routine of tuning into the show at that specific time every week so it may hold off until another big show airs and they can piggyback on the viewership momentum. The cast. With regards to the cast, we could quite literally see anybody appear. It's been said that Connie Britton could be reprising her role, as originally she was set to appear in season 2 of the show, but it didn't quite work out, so that could very well be a possibility. Jennifer Coolidge, who was a fan favourite, was tipped to return. However, following her character's death in Season 2, it doesn't look as though that could be the case, unless they decide to do a prequel type thing where they go back in time to a previous time where she visited the White Lotus Hotel Resort in a different country. So it seems as though for now, it will rely heavily on who they decide to bring back, and any new cast members that they decide to hire to portray new characters that are just as deceitful and out for themselves as the ones that we've seen throughout the first two seasons of the show. The cast are what make this show so good. The contrast in personalities, the intertwining stories, and the stories embedded within each other. I trust that the people in charge of casting will do just as good of a job as they have done the past two seasons. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about The White Lotus Season 3. I'm sure more information will be released as time goes on and we draw ever closer to the release of the new season. So, there you have it. The White Lotus Season 3, everything we know. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen in Season 3? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>